Hi everyone, future editing Kristen here with a, just a bit of an announcement. I forgot to let you know that our next box release will be Sunday the 14th of April at 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Yes, we've gone back to Standard Time now. And the wonderful theme, if you love a Matisse-inspired box, this one will be for you. It is called the Artist Muse. So that is going to be a beautiful box. But remember, set your alarms and mark your calendars for that box release next Sunday night. Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Yes, it is time for new April patterns. Can you believe how quickly that month has flown by? Every time I get to a new month, I just think, wasn't I doing this episode like last week? It is incredible how fast time is going, but there are heaps and heaps and heaps of new patterns to talk to you about. And within the patterns, there are three separate new collections from some very famous French brands. So I've got heaps to fill you in on here. Um, before I do, I wanted to say a big thank you. A lot of you on Instagram have shown me lots of love on this new dress of mine. Now, last week I was at the sewing desk and I was showing you a glimpse of that newly finished Hope dress from Starlark in this beautiful fabric godmother Zani linen viscose. So this is the finished dress. I've already worn it out to lunch for a wonderful auntie of mine, her birthday, and uh, yeah, it was so nice to wear. And I just mentioned to a few people on Instagram how wonderful this dress is and how now it's my third one and actually I've made a blouse with the Hope extension pack as well. So it's one of those kind of patterns that you can whip up within a couple of hours. It's very, very straightforward, very simple. There's no buttons and no closures. It's just a matter of uh, a raglan, raglan style sleeve a face neckline and a really lovely shaped sleeve. I think it's one of my favorite shaped sleeves. It's kind of a three quarter sleeve with a bit of elastic around the bottom. So it really uh, lends itself nicely to a kind of fabric with a little bit more warmth in it. So the linen in this linen viscose blend gives it that bit more puff and stability. must admit to someone said I love how you've done your, your pattern placement your print placements I didn't I just wing it I hardly ever do print matching and for something like this I just stuck the pattern pieces on and away I went and actually ended up quite unique the way it was placed it looks like it's been purposely done this um, bit of bit of print here on the bodice but no that was all a fluke <laughs> Don't you love it when, when when flukes work well um, but no it really is a fabulous pattern and I can highly recommend the extension pack with some different looks to sort of elevate a pattern if you've made it before the hope it's wonderful also uh, in a, a knit it's one of those patterns you can make in either knit or woven which is another great bonus um, but yeah I've so far I've only made it in wovens but I would really love to try it in a knit to see how it goes and this fabric where we've just sold our last piece as well I mean we may be on to our last piece I have to check their website but I'm going to try and get more of this I have a lot of people asking about the Emery viscose as well in the fabric godmother range and it, the black and white one that I have a piece of and it looks like that's no longer uh, able to to get they must have sold out the suppliers over in the UK as well so uh, it's one of those things that unless you pick things up when they first come out you don't always know how much is in production and how popular it's been and this collection of theirs sold really well so yeah it's a really lovely pattern to wear so I've got to move on to the patterns because that's what you're all here for I'm sure now there's been heaps of new releases the one that I just have seen yesterday and I have to say one of my favorite indie pattern companies is Pattern Scout. Now the beautiful Casey from Pattern Scout had put out an episode just recently um, just st stating that she has had the biggest battle of her life on her hands. Unfortunately, she's been diagnosed with breast cancer. She's in the middle of a lot of treatment at the moment um, and she put out a really emotional episode there just talking it through how important it is to get the breast checks done and she had a family history of it and um, she I just wanted to wish wish Casey all the best I hope all is going well with your treatment and the best way to support Casey is to go ahead and purchase uh, one of her patterns and she did say that she's not putting out 
you know, fundraisers and GoFundMes and things like that. But I think if we can all get behind Casey and show her our support um, by, by looking at her wonderful catalogue of patterns, which I've made many in the past. And she also has an incredible YouTube channel, which go ahead and give her a follow. So sending Casey um, all of my love, and I'm sure a lot of the followers here can agree she's a wonderful person to watch on YouTube. So all the best, Casey. But I've got to say, um, the time, obviously, you've probably spent in getting this pattern prepared uh, earlier or maybe it's something you've been doing recently to help you through the healing process which we all know uh, when, when we're feeling unwell how much as so with we all long to sew um, so one of the first things uh, a lot of people do in recovery to help them through through the healing is something creative and so her newest pattern release is called the vivi blouse and dress it is 15 percent off until monday the 15th of april which is fabulous uh, i love this it is definitely up my alley it is a long or short or sleeveless um, dress blouse or there's two different um, lengths of dresses you can either go for the midi or the mini or the blouse length it is size range 0 to 30 you've got b c and d cups it's an intermediate style pattern um, i love it it is a beautiful classic style shirt or shirt dress but lovely fitting to it you've got the button front um, you've got the um, beautiful paneling throughout the dress, a really lovely shape. So she said to either a woven, light or medium weight in a rayon, linen, denim, twill, gabardine, poplin uh, and stretch wovens will also work. So if you've got a really nice stretch denim, this would be wonderful as well. And don't forget the lovely ladies, the Sewers of Oz. Um, if you haven't heard about that, look up the hashtag, the beautiful um, Australian sewing vloggers, um, which is Katrina from Create Something Pretty, uh, Hayley from the Hay Meadow. You've got Deb from DB Designs. And the other Deb in WA is um, Sewing Seams with Deb. They're putting out a hashtag for the next two months to sew something in autumn. So sew autumn denim. And we are proudly sponsoring a June bespoke box and a gift voucher for the Dahlia Society store. So this would be a perfect pattern to make if you're wanting to make something in a nice denim, either a stretch or a woven. Um, but it's definitely something I could imagine making uh, even in a beautiful gabardine. In the store, we've got those lovely Italia brunette light gabardines. I think that would be perfect in this dress. So I may have to make this one. It looks like it could be um, maybe something in a longer or three quarter length sleeve. I think I'll do that sleeve with the dress. Um, but it'd be also beautiful in a blouse. So it's a wonderful pattern, Casey, and all of our best big kisses to you in your recovery. Now, I noticed yesterday there was a brand new free pattern released from Veronica Tucker, and Veronica is our Melbourneian Australian uh, designer that has her own indie fashion um, pattern labels, which is fabulous. They have really taken off lately. There's some beautiful designs over on her page, so don't forget to head on over and check out what she's got there. But she's just put out a brand new uh, pattern called the Noel dress, which is a free pattern. It's off the shoulders, a floaty, um, and you can have it with or without the belt. She said to do anything in a lovely drapey, floaty, flowy woven. Nothing too stiff or too thick because you've got quite a bit of gathering with that elastic around the neck and you can wear it off the shoulder. I think it's amazing. She's made it uh, quite easy to adjust the sleeves. If you want to have the longer sleeves or make them a bit shorter, that is also very easy to do. So an off the shoulder style dress is always very, very flattering. It looks beautiful on, really romantic and drapey. And I love the vintage kind of, the nod to vintage that she has with her pattern. Um, her beautiful pattern envelopes, they look like a stunning collection. So I know they are very popular as well. And especially if you love things with um, gathers and, you know, floaty, flowy, big billowy sleeves and lots of romantic kind of details. I think her patterns are just wonderful. Uh, another Australian mother and daughter team, Swim Style Patterns uh, in New South Wales, have released a beautiful pattern that's an updated co-ord set. I think it used to be a dress. It's called the Andy set, so it's been transformed into a co-ord set. Size range is extra small to nine extra large. And the co-ord set, um, they've got a skirt and top 
um, cohort together. They've made it that it's a fabulous year-round trans-seasonal look, so definitely something you can make in the, either the sleeveless top or the long sleeve. The details I love is the beautiful gathering at the front. Now, you've got a drawstring and a like a channel that you can either draw the top up to give it a little bit of shaping and detail or leave it nice and loose and knotted at the bottom. You've either got the beautiful billowy sleeves or the sleeveless style and the v-neck and then the skirt has lovely deep side splits and a nice elastic waist so very 70s inspired beautiful in things like linens um, some nice natural colored linen would be perfect in this or a really amazing boho um, rayon or a viscose print would be incredible in this too i think this would be wonderful um, to wear throughout the year as well either in um, summer or winter and also they've got some really lovely patterns i've made their ritual dress before which i think is incredible they've got another co-ord set um the shirt and wide leg pants set which is just so popular at the moment so the ladies at swim style patterns have done an incredible job on this set it's one I'd love to make as well. And I've had a couple of customers reach out to me asking about the Love Notions Crescendo stretch jeans. We are getting some stretch denims in in the next couple of months, so uh, stay tuned for that. But the Crescendo Crescendo jeans are a size range 0 to 32. They do need a 25% stretch denim, but they're saying it's going to be a bottom weight. So nothing like kind of knit denim. It has to be proper woven denim with stretch in it if you know what I mean so the bottom weight means it has to have a certain amount of GSM to which they've explained on the website um, to be the right kind of stretchy denim because you've got a nice high waist to pull you in you've got four different leg views so there's the flared the boot cart the straight and the skinny they've also got the full and flat bottom adjustment you can make um, pockets um, so yeah, don't forget you do need a 25% stretch. So look for a good spandex content when you're looking for some beautiful denims to make your crescendos from. And you'll notice as well, Kate from Pattern Emporium had a new pattern release last week, the Rise and Shine top. It's a beautiful sleeveless shell style top. Has um, narrow facings, a really good staple to have in the wardrobe, especially for underneath things like your duster jackets or maybe blazers. Um, or if you're moving into the warmer climate, um, it's a fabulous little top to pop with skirts and pants. She's also got not only the hip or the longer version with the flare. And added little detail is that there is an elasticated waist version to give that a nice little billowy effect um, she has got an fba option there with the darts if you're needing that and also a faced hem option which i love personally i've made a few tank style tops with faced hems and they always give a really lovely kind of swingy and stable effect especially when made in things like linen or linen viscose blends um, so just about any kind of light to mid weight will be perfect in this shell style top and the size range is four to thirty all the patterns here will be linked for ease of access for you guys now we've got some amazing french companies that have patterns and a lot of them have fabric as well but a lot of them are run by sisters which is fabulous and the beautiful iron patterns are in france uh, blandine who's just had her first baby and benedictine are uh, sisters and they run iron patterns they have come out with an amazing new collection called i am myself now each of their collections has a theme which is just incredible so the i am myself collections they've talked about embracing your deepest self um, so the beauty and wisdom and love in each of us lies within um, and they have kind of used that theme throughout this classic collection as a very a lot of these are very like good basics to have in the wardrobe that you can actually mix and match with each other and i think the best way to care and love yourself is sewing your own wardrobe i think it's the most beautiful and personal thing you can do is by making clothes that are your size your fit and your personality i think don't you agree um sewing your own clothing is going to be the best way to show yourself a bit of love um so we've got the i am valerie dress which is actually a cami dress or a jumpsuit you can do all different versions of that it's a very simple spaghetti style strap um camisole with a lovely little v so it's uh, the three different versions you can make with that which is just fabulous the size range in this is 34 to 52 They've also um, shown it in different fabrics as well, but I really love the little um, woven jumpsuit. I think that is gorgeous, but a simple cami or cami dress, you just can't have enough uh, in the wardrobe of those to be mixing and matching throughout. We've also got the I Am Harmony, which is a high-waisted 
pair of trousers. Um, you can either make them in shorts, in the wide leg collots, or in the straight leg pant. And the um, pleats at the front have got a really lovely soothing style pleating to get that lovely shape and Italian style pockets, which I'm not sure what they are. Write in the comments if you know what Italian style pockets are, but they sound really nice. So um, now I'm intrigued to go and look up what that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, they also got the I Am Amy, which is a classic style men's shirt. Um, now, this one is spectacular because you've got 384 versions of shirt. You can make either shirt or shirt dress or shacket. They've shown it made uh, not only in ladies but in menswear as well. I so really love how they've shown it in different fabrics to get that different feel. So there's one that's made in a quilted fabric, which is just fabulous for making for a wintry kind of shacket style feel or a beautiful long line linen one that they've um, done uh, an under done and had open um, or you can make it in a shirt style dress or a cropped style version shirt as well which is fantastic so they've given you lots of inspiration there i love it when you can see all the line drawings for a pattern that you can do that many different versions so you really do get your money's worth there and you can actually buy them as pdf or paper we will eventually be getting these in the store um, at the paper patterns but I know that with a PDF bundle that you can you can buy it as a bundle set as well as save some money there so fabulous collection from the sisters over at I Am Patterns. We've also had another wonderful release in store you will have seen if you have been following the channel with the new fabrics each week the Italia Jupe collection which has just landed in store. There's four different patterns in that range we've got the beautiful Ava dress which is a classic shirt style dress that nice gathering on the yoke that is definitely one I have my hand up ready to make because I love shirt dresses it's got that nice tie waist detail as well and of course Eva and Petra at Natalia Jupe are another set of sisters running a very successful business there and they have some beautiful fabrics in that new range and of course I have made their Hannah blouse um, in in the newest fabric as well that they have in the graphic leaf fabric I love the blouse pattern it is absolutely beautiful you've got the different sleeves you've got the flared sleeve all that nice ruffled sleeve their patterns are so lovely to make and, and don't, don't forget you get the different options for like languages not only in English but I think they do them in Dutch and French and German as well so it's really wonderful. Um, they also have a really lovely duster style jacket called the Inners Jacket which that's another one I, I love a good duster but I love how they've made it in a viscose print as well as in their beautiful cotton organic bold colours so I love the panelling and the lovely seam work in the back of that it's quite unique you can definitely use piping in the seam details there in the back or you can use colour locking which they've done with their cotton and they've also got a wonderful dungaree pattern called the is Elsie the Elsies they've showcased in the organic cottons there um, a really wonderful pair of casual style dungarees and, and there's a really lovely understated denim with the either the navy with the, the cream stripe or the cream with the navy stripe and I think they are definitely something that would be beautiful done in the dungarees or jeans or even a jacket. And another collection, of course, from France is the Mason Faux, which we've gone through those when I had the new fabrics. But if you haven't heard about them, uh, they are in size ranges 34 to 52. They've done the whole collection based around a cocktail theme, which is just so wonderful. I love their packaging. They've done a beautiful holographic style um, all matching beautiful uh, packaging on the uh, Mason Fove envelopes. Phoebe and I always admire how beautiful they've done the the artwork on their, their patterns. It's just worth collecting just for their beautiful covers, I think. Um, so they've done the Bellini blouse, which is a really lovely blouse with a beautiful um, pin tucking kind of seams on the shoulder line. You've also got the long or the short sleeveless in that version with the button front as well. I love how they've showcased a lot of these in this beautiful citron colour. It looks incredible. Mosa blazer, which is another one in that beautiful citron colour, but I also love how they've done it in a jacquard. So if you're looking for something to make maybe a jacquard, you have in your stash which I have a couple of jacquards um, I'm always wondering what to do with them but the mimosa blazer would be incredible so it's a lined jacket but it's just very simple and understated and something you can really dress up with a nice fancy fabric or maybe just even something really simple those sort of things are really good for popping on over a pair of jeans and a t-shirt even. Um, the daiquiri dress, we've already sold out of that pattern in store. But when I saw this dress pattern, I just thought the amazing details in the back of this are really very, very eye-catching. And of course, she's got it on that beautiful citron lace, which is just beautiful. It has a really unusual shoulder detail, kind of a curved effect to it there um, and it's just a beautiful simple style dress with all the um, all the work on the back that it just showcases it beautifully 
Um, there's also the very kind of retro looking cosmopolitan play suit, which is another one done in a beautiful jacquard. Lovely plunging v-neck as well. It's some beautiful dart shaping throughout the bodice area. It looks incredible on, uh, on the models there. And it's definitely something you could um, spruce up with a nice pair of heels as well there. And the spritz tank top is a nice simple little cami style top with a button front and another one that you can of course play around with different wovens and laces and things like that. So um, three very beautiful collections there and um, I think they do an amazing job, very classy patterns, things that you can all mix and match together and make yourself a capture wardrobe. Yeah, Style Arc here in Australia have some new patterns released just this week called yeah. Style Arcs size ranges 4 to 30. They've got the new twig woven pants. That's another one you could make in a wonderful lightweight denim. Um, they've got fly front, elastic back, so nothing too thick because of the elastic back. You don't want anything bunching up too much. Um, they've got cropped leg and they have a barrel leg fit, so kind of a really unique modern looking pair of pants they've got inseam pockets um so they're saying things like denims drills gabardines and cottons but nothing too heavy that looks like a really gorgeous little pair of pants to have in the wardrobe they've also got a new skirt pattern called the haven woven skirt it's got circular panels which is a really unusual detail to create a lot of movement and flow um, an invisible zip mid car calf length and a really lovely shaped waistband so those kind of um calf length floaty skirts are right up my alley. I really love um, when Style Arc does it skirts because a lot of my favourite skirt patterns are from Style Arc. But yeah, it's a beautiful time of year out in the garden and I've got a lot of dahlias ready to erupt. I've been uh, feeding them and they've had a lot of nice rain the last couple of days. So hopefully in the next episode I'll have a lot of them to show you because I know a lot of you are waiting to see um, the dahlias that I grow and yeah, they're, they're perfection this time of year they're all starting to come out which is really nice um so back to the patterns the wonderful patterns fantastic over in wa and that's nita another australian designer has come out with the beautiful magda dress and i love the way she's described this it is a relaxed romantic with medieval vibes and she says that the billowy sleeves perfect for chasing away witches <laughs> angular v-neck which is incredible really lovely modern style even though it's got medieval vibes it's really unusual um, the v at the bodice neckline really echoes the hip yoke region um, it's also fabulous in not only summer weight linens and things like that she's also started things like winter wovens like your lightweight denims and chambres lightweight baby cord would be perfect as long as it's not too crisp because you want a bit of movement in the skirt so i think that would be a perfect um, autumn winter dress over here in australia heading into the cooler seasons if you're looking for something a bit unique and different um, pattern fantastics magda dress could be the one for you now friday pattern company have come out with a brand new jacket called the beach coma jacket it is a lined jacket with options for a hood uh, it has patch pockets it is a unisex pattern and extra small to seven extra large and they've stated things like mid, mid to heavyweight denims canvases twills gabardines or wools would be perfect in this so if you're looking for an anorak style casual uh, vibe jacket this could be one for you and i really love when chelsea brings out brand new patterns um, she has put a lot of thought into these patterns as to be wardrobe basics and staples they always work really well now a very popular pattern company of recent is called Silver Saga Patterns. They've come out with the Mina Wrap Dress, size ranges 6 to 20. It is a beautiful dress with a wrap style bodice. You've got your dropped kind of bishop sleeves. Um, it can be tied around in three different ways. We'll put some picks up to show you. And I always love when you've got a pattern that can be made different each time and you can really change the look of it up. It has a really lovely flared style skirt and they've stated things like your rayons, viscose, tensile, linens, voils and silks would be beautiful in this classic style wrap dress. So her patterns are just very unique and beautiful. I've seen quite a few people making the Silver Saga patterns over our summer here in Australia. And I just think if you're looking for something really dressy and something to stand out, Silver Saga could be for you. The last pattern that has been released just in the last week or so is Trend Patterns. They've got the gathered sleeve top TPC 
30 and it's a versatile and very smart top if you're wanting a top just to set off uh, a really nice pair of jeans and really showcase a beautiful fabric this could be perfect um, you've got the very smart and casual and side splits the zip at the back and either the ruffled sleeves or the wonderful feature on these is a beautiful gathered drawstring effect um, sleeve so very similar to the um, swim style patterns with the front this is done on the sleeve so you can have the beautiful ties at the bottom there we've got it done in a really lovely jacquard style fabric I think it would be so beautiful for, for showcasing something special if you're wanting a dressy style top uh, size range in the trend patterns is 8 to 22 I hope you've enjoyed the new pattern releases that I've seen for April. Please write in the comments below if there's one that you've seen that I've missed out. I really love to catch up and see what everyone's um, suggesting, what you've seen. Um, it's so hard to keep up with everything coming new this time of year. We always get a brand new lot of releases when it's a change of season. So let me know in the comments below also what you've been making. I always love to read and catch up with that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also a like, a thumbs up would be really appreciated for this episode. Take care. We'll see you all very shortly for another episode. Bye for now.